So we will be able to compose functions. It sounds rather musical, doesn't it? Um, okay, so this is a compositional function. Okay, this is the notation. Now notice, this is like a little circle. It's not a times. Okay, this is a little circle. It means to perform the composition. Now, I prefer the second notation over the first, just because to me it makes more sense. Uh, but you read this, f of g of x. Okay? So, you know, if you ignore the f for a second, that's g of x. Well, we have the next one, f of g of x. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start on the inside and we're going to work our way out. We're going to start on the inside and we're going to work our way out. So like in number 20, we've got those two functions like we've always had. If they ask us to find g of h of negative 6, well, we're going to start on the inside. h of negative 6. We've been doing that since middle school. Okay, h of negative 6, we're going to plug negative 6 into the h of x function, or h of a in this case, excuse me. Uh, so that is negative 6 squared plus 2 times negative 6. Okay, I'm just putting it there in its place. Negative 6 squared is positive 36. Don't believe your calculator if it says negative 36. It means you did not put parentheses where you should have. 36 minus 12 is 24. So we have replaced h of negative 6 with its value, 24. Now we're just going to plug 24 into our g of x, or g of a function. 3 times 24 plus 1. Uh, 3 times 24 is 72 plus 1 is 73. So, g of h of negative 6 is 73. Okay, let's do another one. 21. 21 has the other notation. Anytime I'm doing these problems, guys, even though I've done this for years, I still automatically re rewrite it in the other function notation. Because I just it looks better to me. I like the way it looks. It makes more sense to me. I automatically write it f of g of negative three with parentheses instead of the little circle. Okay, so we start on the inside. We work our way out. So g of negative three. That's negative two times negative three squared minus two times negative three. If you're doing that without a calculator. You square the negative 3 first and then multiply by negative 2. Exponents come before multiplication. So that's positive 9 times negative 2 is negative 18 plus 6. So negative 12. I have absolutely no problem with you doing it on the calculator. I just like doing mental math. Okay. Yo, please correct me if I ever do it wrong. It happens sometimes. Okay, then we're plugging negative 12 into our f of n function. Negative 12 minus 1, so that is negative 13. Okay, now this is completely new. I don't want to completely overwhelm you with information, so I want you to... Okay, same concept here, except we just don't have a number. Okay, we don't have a number. So it's g of f of x. So instead of replacing f of x with its value, like f of 2 is equal to a number, we are going to replace f of x with its function. Okay, so all I did was plug in the f of x function in the place of f. Now, if that were just g of negative 3, you plug negative 3 into g. Well, same thing's going to happen, except we're plugging in that expression. So my g of x function is 2x plus 3. Now leave that blank space for where x was, and in its place, I'm going to put 
negative 3x minus 5. And then we simplify. Distribute the 2, negative 6x minus 10 plus 3. Combine like terms, negative 6x minus 7. Okay, 23, same idea. F of G of X, I start on the inside, so I'm going to replace G with its function, X plus 5. Then I'm going to plug X plus 5 into F. So everywhere in my F function where I see an X, I'm going to put a set of parentheses, and in those parentheses, I will put x plus 5. <coughs> then we simplify. x plus 5 squared, x, x squared plus 10x plus 25. I just didn't write it out twice. If you need to do that, I'm absolutely fine with that. I'm just saving space. Distribute the negative 3. Negative 3x minus 15. Combine like terms. x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay. Let's do one more. Figure 24. H of x is negative x squared plus 3x. G of x is 3x plus 4. H of g. Okay, I don't like that notation, so I'm going to rewrite it. H of g of x. So replace g with its function, 3x plus 4, plug that into h. So everywhere in h where I see an x, I put a set of parentheses, in those parentheses I put a 3x plus 4. Got a foil out, 3x plus 4. There's a negative in front of it, so I'm going to put this in parentheses. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. The outside's going to give us 12x. The inside's going to give us 12x, so that's plus 24x. And the last, 4 times 4 is 16. Distribute the 3, 9x plus 12. Distribute that negative negative 9x squared minus 24x minus 16 plus 9x plus 12 still on the end combine like terms negative 9x squared minus 15x minus 4 So 25, it's still a composition, but within the composition, we're plugging in an expression. So it's kind of like going back to when we evaluated this at a number. Okay, so again, I don't like that notation on number 25, so I'm going to rewrite it using the function notation with parentheses. Okay, so we start on the inside. I'm going to plug 4 in into H. Now hopefully the parentheses won't get too confusing for you here. If you'd rather do this off to the side, that's fine. Um, but I'm just going to keep it within the parentheses. Okay, so instead of just plugging in my H of N function there, I'm plugging 4 in into my H of N. Don't forget... When you're squaring something like 4n, you have to square both the number and the variable. So this is going to be g of 16n squared minus 1. 
Then we plug that into our g of n function, which was negative 3 times the variable, which is going to end up being our function, plus 4. So that's negative 48 n squared plus 3 plus 4. So that is negative 48 n squared plus 7. Oh, but you're just squaring the number that you plug in. Not, yeah, not the number of Okay, so 26. Okay, 26. G of H of T minus 2. So I'm plugging T minus 2 into H. So 3 times T minus 2 minus 5. That's 3t minus 6 minus 5, so minus 11. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11. Then we're going to plug that into g. So t minus 3. So 3t minus 11 goes in that place. We really don't need those parentheses. I'm just using for illustrative purposes. So that's really just 3t minus 14. Okay, so not really any more difficult. It's just adding an extra piece to it. Okay, plug the expression into the function it's closest to. Plug that result into the first function. And simplify as much as you can. So finish off the worksheet.